Oh, ducks. Duck, this thing is freaking cute. Whole uh, Fire Star, uh, single seat. Good morning, you guys. Today, we're gonna fly the Kit Fox out to Tony's place and I'm gonna go fly his ultralight and show it off. He's selling it. And I was like, let's do a video on that thing. So, here we go. Usually I drive, but uh, now we got the Kit Fox. So it's pretty cool. It's gonna be uh, probably like a half an hour flight. It's quite a ways out there. He's got that cool little airstrip. All right, let's go. The Fox will be taking off runway 19. We we'll turn out to the right. Hey! I'm really right now flying with Google Maps. This seems to be working okay. That's just something you don't see. We should probably water ski it. That's too good not to water ski. This will be the first time I water skied with this plane, and it'll be the first time water skiing in a long time. Maybe like four years. That's so cool. I know these guys. You never get an airstrip that's fully covered with water. We're gonna hit it a little bit fast, just so, uh, you know, it's kind of more rock solid. Oh wow, look at all those siphon tubes. Oh shit, ducks. Ducks. Ooh, I almost got that one. Just touch it. Just gotta touch it. There we go. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Woo! Yeah, I couldn't pass up that opportunity. What better place to water ski? than an actual runway. Thanks, Jeff. You guys did a good job watering your strip. Okay, enough goofing off. We're gonna get to Tony and go fly his ultralight airplane. Tony, you got a copy? Yeah, some flaps. Looks like he's got a little bit more grass. Okay, we're at 35. Let's not touch down yet. Oh, beautiful. Oh man, it's this strip's actually pretty smooth. Try to keep that tail up. Try to keep the tail up. Alright, shut down. Yay. Good morning. Well, you kind of slicked it on there. Your airship's looking nice. Yeah. You must have been grading it or something, huh? Well, I did uh, last fall. Yeah. I did, I worked it up and smoothed it, graded it, uh, rolled it, and then this crazy wild grass just started filling in. I have no idea what it is. Really? Yeah. That's the best type of grass. Yeah. Didn't plant it. Didn't water. <laughs> It just gradually fills. It's making like a trillion seeds, so it's just gonna keep going. But yeah. I, I don't know what it is. This stuff right here. Yeah. These little seed heads. Yeah. I mean, it's probably an invasive. I don't know what it is. I haven't seen it before. Yeah. And it's obviously, it's obviously drying down because it's not being watered. It's hardy, but, whatever it is. Yeah, it is so much smoother than it was. Wherever the grass is, I'm not getting much weeds. Well, that's, that's the thing I, I always tell people is like, don't spray Roundup because then the weeds come. Yeah, you kill the grass. And the spray 2,4-D. Yeah. Because you want the grass to come, it, it chokes out the weeds. Yeah. Oh man, this thing is freaking cute. 
Check this out. This is, you got to tell us what this is. Kolb uh, Firestar. Okay. Uh, single seat. They do make a Firestar two-seater. This is not that. Okay. Uh, I guess that's That's all. about it. That's, well, I just I was <laughs> looking at it, just realized I haven't put the skylight on top yet. Okay. I just got it off the trailer yeah. five minutes ago. No, you're like me, ADD, where I'm like, I'm talking about something, and then all of a sudden... I'll be looking at something and I think of, and I'll say something else. Welcome guys to Tony's place. This is really cool. It's got a nose wheel. I'm, I'm curious what that must be for. Maybe safety. Is this ultralight worthy? No, no. no it's a registered light sport aircraft. Is it really? Yeah, got an end number on. Oh, I'll be dang. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Now, is it pretty close to being ultralight, though? It's 100 pounds or so over. Weight. Okay. Okay. So. And uh, ultralights are limited to something like 62 miles an hour. This flies 75. Oh, nice. Okay. I mean, it'll go faster than that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you have the 447? Uh, 503. 503. Twin carburetors. 50 propeller. Do you like how it flies? It climbs real fast and... Uh, you know, it's not real fast. It lands short, takes up, takes off short. You gonna let me fly it? Um, you can make that decision. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll talk a little bit. Yeah. Like, off camera. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll, I'll look. I, I definitely want to go through everything. I flew this plane uh, before I recovered it. I, I flew probably 20 hours in it. Okay. It was green. I don't know if you ever saw it. I don't think so. And I actually flew this plane before I flew my Avid. Really? Yeah, the Avid was done, but I was in that long process of getting registered. It took a, yep. most of a year. I know, I know that. And uh, <laughs> I was just in the headache. Uh, I actually got my tailwheel endorsed in this plane. Did you really? Yeah. I went and did 12 hours of Kit Fox training. Yeah. They didn't sign me off. Okay. And I didn't have any money left. Yeah. And I got this thing going, and at that, about that same time, the registration came through on this. One day I was thinking... There's got to be a, a tailwheel endorsement for single seats, right? Yeah, exactly. And so I called Dale and Dale Cressup, and he yeah. said, sure. Yeah, I'll stand on the ground. I'll, I'll observe you. I did a few uh, patterns and landings. And How he signed cool me up. is that? So if you guys have a single seat tail dragger and you need a tailwheel endorsement, apparently you can get your tailwheel endorsement. You, well, I did. Okay. Which, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, well, I had, maybe not. I had the training. Yes, exactly. But they just, you know... If, just didn't they get didn't to the... sign me off. Yeah. Do you know any history about the Kolb? Who designed it, where it came uh, from, how long they've been out? It, it's kind of cool. I'm not any expert, but uh, uh, Homer, I think is his name. Okay. Uh, it's like this Amish dude back in Pennsylvania or somewhere. Yeah. Got into ultralights and then powered ultralights and hang gliders. And he started building these planes uh, pretty soon. It turned into a company. There's these old pictures of him, like, jumping off the barn or something. He's like, screw this Amish life. I, I want something with an engine. Yeah. He was really jumping off barns with hang gliders. Well, I saw these old photos, you know. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I love that. The wings fold up. The tail folds up. It can fit in a closed trailer. That's nice. Yeah. Is this where you're putting it? Well, that's, that's going to be the eventual home of the Avid. Oh, perfect. Oh, let me show you. Yeah, let's see it. Because it's not done. Guys, Tony is very crafty, and he's able to build some unique and good stuff with not much money, which I, I love. I think it's the coolest thing. Most people call it scrap metal art. <laughs> scrap metal art. Okay. I was a welder, you know, for real. Yeah. Uh, so I built that steel frame in there because this whole side will open. This pipe will just roll up the tarp for the door. Oh, and uh, okay, so your plane will go in, and, and the doghouse. You're not going to be putting it in this way, then. No, no, no. This is to put my plane in without folding it. An actual hanger. Just sit in here like, like this. Okay. Facing out. This will be opened up. There's a doghouse for the tail to go back. In. I see. It's not finished. So with this, when it rolls up, how are you going to roll it up? Um. Well, I'm still inventing the mechanism. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got it. But that's, it'll, there'll be, you know, pulleys and winches and stuff. Okay. We're going to come back and I'm going to show you guys his hanger. I'm actually pretty confident it'll work out. 
that billboard stuff. Well, I saw you. I still got to show everyone you, how you did your door. Oh, you want to see that? All uh, right, your shop. So maybe we'll do that at a whole nother video. Let's keep talking about this uh, Kolb. Interesting tale. Oh, I got I to gotta tell you, these hinges aren't original Kolb. The guy I bought it from took it to a shop and uh, they modified it. I don't know the reasons for it. Um, Kolb hinges are look like this. More like a piano hinge. Yeah. What is interesting is the airfoil. Is there another plane that has the same type of airfoil where it's got that big old lump up front and it basically is a triangle, tapers back. It's not your standard airfoil. Cold makes quite a few different models. Okay. They, they make two seaters. I, uh, Maybe that's what they, uh, I've seen. They make uh, what they call the Firefly, which is an ultralight. It looks just like this, okay. but it's an actual... Ultralight. Big old flaperons, aileron, or? Uh, no flaps. No flaps, so just, just, just barn doors. Huge, huge ailerons. Yeah. I mean, those things are, what, a foot by the whole wing? I'm curious on that little nose wheel. Is that for just mess up? When I was working on it, I, it seems obvious to me that it's not original. Some previous owner put it in there. You know, you watch those videos of the, of the stole competitions and that guy in the Chinook. Yeah, yeah. And he, you know, he never worries about his prop strike. Yeah. If he knows it's over, he'll just get yeah, out and get tip out it back up back. and keep going, you know? Yeah, that is nice. I, I'm going to guess that this plane could compete. I, you know. So, yeah, someone's looking for a stole drag airplane. And this thing is registered. A one-seater. This actually could actually compete. Like I think it, it, it could, yeah. Let's look at the cockpit. Let's see what we got going on. Nice light door. Looks pretty good. Nice. Is that is this your fuel tank here? Yes. Eight gallons. Seems like it's lightweight too. Yeah, the guy that I got it from put uh, a plastic seat tank in it. You actually sat on the tank. Oh, really? I still got it if anybody wants it. Uh, Flight characteristics. The thing that catches you off guard is that engine up on top like that. When you throttle back, if you do it suddenly, yep. you're going to nose up. It's going to pitch up on you. And you got to be ready for that. Like, hold your stick down. And and don't yank it all at once. Like, kind of work it back. And, and it's the same with, you, you know, if you slam it forward all at once. Like, if you're doing a go-around or something, mm -hmm. you're going to find your nose wants to pitch down. For sure. So just yeah. be, ready be ready for that. Because if you were, you know, too close to the ground, it could pitch you into the ground. Yeah. It's, it's, the other thing is it's a, just a very draggy plane and uh, and being so light. Okay. Just keep some power just in when you're power. making your turns, especially to final. Okay. I'll just kind of keep a little power till I'm pretty close to the ground and then flare and power off is all kind of one smooth motion. Okay. If you're too far off the ground and you and yeah. you lose air, run out of airspeed, you're not flying. You, gotcha. You just fall. Okay. So just... Fly all the way. Yeah, and that's the other thing. If you want to uh, glide in with no power at all, point you, you straight just, down. Yeah, you just got to stand it on the nose. It's, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. One complaint I have with the design is there's just no place to put anything. Oh, there's no baggage area yeah. at all, is there? I think the thing to do would be just wear a jacket with a bunch of pockets and stuff. Oh, yeah, that'd work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna film Tony, film fly this around for a bit, and then uh, I'm gonna jump in there, go fly it. I'm actually kind of excited. That thing being like up front, it's gonna be such a weird feeling, but it's gonna be really cool. Oh well. It does have dual ignition. That's good.
kind of went up, but it wasn't reading right. Yeah. And I think that the wind has blown the dirt back into it. Oh, shoot. So I may have to take the gauge right out. Can we blow on the backside? Like take the We can off? try. We can try. I mean, I don't need an airspeed to fly it. I, it. I just landed without it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's clear now, I think. Oh, nice. To self, put the cap on. Yep. That is a pretty cool feeling, being out in this open cockpit. There is not a better plane for visibility in all directions. I mean, exactly. there's no wing over your head, really. I mean, Yeah. Mag's on. Throttle's back. Oh, my shoulder. Elbow, shoulder. All right. Clear prop. Clear prop. to explain the feeling but sitting open like you're hovering above the ground the controls feel super smooth like really tight I love that this engine knock on wood it's running so smooth the heel brakes I'm a little unused to but it's all right we're not gonna use them if I need to I know where they're at Oh man, whoo buddy. We're just gonna let it fly off the ground. Wow. about the coolest feeling being like hovering above the ground on takeoff and just everywhere it's kind of like you're flying a magic carpet because of the cockpit yeah oh yeah it's it's the best there's it's, not a, i can't imagine a better cockpit it really it, yeah. the ailerons you know they're not as uh sensitive as like the kit fox or the air bike but they do it they work you just gotta kind of finesse it you know. The whole reason I came out here is Tony's like, hey, I'm gonna sell this ultralight and see if you want to do a video. I was like, yeah, that'd be fun to fly around and do a video on. So what are you selling it for? Well, I got it advertised for 12.5. You know, I think it's in the range. I think that's uh, in the range, yeah. There's, uh, when buyers are looking for fire stars especially, yep. there's a lot of these that have been flown as 
what they call fat ultralights. Okay, just yeah. Just unlicensed, unregistered. For sure. And they're not legal, but people do it. And uh, so if you see a discount Firestar, make sure that it's registered. <laughs> it's registered. Because they're not legal ultralights. That is true. That's actually a huge plus with this, that it's actually a, a legal flying plane. Um, and it's not it's not an ultralight. It's actually light, light sport, I guess you would yeah. say. Or experimental. Experimental light sport. Yeah. So, guys, if you're looking for a little Kolb Firestar, uh, I'll leave Tony's info in the description, and you can get a hold of him. It's a sweet little plane. Uh, the visibility is unreal. It feels so weird for me because there's nothing there. Yeah, I I'm know. Just like, you got to get used to it. I'm like, ah, oh, this is, what the heck, what's going on? <laughs> well, thank you for uh, letting me fly it and do a video on it. Yeah, looking forward to so, seeing it. Yeah, I got to go and edit now, so... All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.